Alrighty, another tic tac tutorial. Who would have thought? Today with the Phalanx IL strategy. I'm using Azamas with you for that because he's a god at this stuff and he even has used it in boss rushes, which is very, very remarkable. remarkable. So check him out if you want to see that stuff done live. Um, let's get right into it. Uh, first of all, for this strategy, all the modern players like me, I'm sorry, but classic controls is where it's where it's at. Because the aiming works differently on modern. And sadly, at least in my experience, and I have never gotten the fast setup to work on modern. Because the aiming just is clunkier, sadly. In a way, it's easier to be consistent at aiming. But on classic controls, especially with the fast aim button, auto aim thing, and the way that the aiming works in general, you have an easier time with hitting the the sacks fast. And also you can roll out of steps, which is very important for this strategy as well. So let's get right into it. First things first, um, Asama turns the camera here. I don't do it really, but it's preference. You want to get on aggro quickly and switch to bow. And then you, if you get it quickly, you basically just do a fast start, which is holding the stick backwards and pressing X on classic at, re at least. Maybe get all practice on that one. And right after you do that, this, you hold left on your stick and accelerate with aggro. That way you'll be pretty consistent in getting through this angle. This might be a little difficult at first, but it works. And then right as you do that, and you know you're on your way towards the right path, you wanna hold L1 and square, which are the buttons on classic to aim. And if you hold L1, it'll auto aim towards phalanx, so you're already in the right track. And then you can see as my hit the shots here, you basically wanna uh, charge them, but not too long and just hit quickly. The first arrow is where you want to aim is around the nose of phalanx right here. Don't think about it too much, just aim and do it and believe. Second arrow you go back and kind of try to aim for this nub thingy, whatever that's supposed to be. Somewhere here basically. And the third one. Uh, yeah, really anywhere works almost. Somewhere here. Sometimes you get trolled and you had to hit this thing and don't actually hit, hit the sack. It's a bit frustrating, but just practice it. And even if you get this part right and you're going towards phalanx, you're already saving time compared to the old strategy where we just used the safe aim from the start, which is very, very useful. Right after that you go forward, Azama zooms in, I guess that's his way of being comfortable with the situation. The important thing is that Phalanx needs to do a certain kind of animation, let me see if I can see it here. Yeah, kinda. There are different animations Phalanx can do. If he goes towards this direction, the strategy doesn't work anymore. And what you want to see is Phalanx kind of move around like that. That's when you have a good chance of him going under the sand, which is the main part of the strategy. Sometimes if you're a little slow, he can still do this thing, but move down slower, which ruins the strategy. It's basically about hitting all the three arrows before 12 seconds. It takes a little practice. Just try it out and sometime you'll get it. Let's see what Azama does next. He'll probably stand up on aggro, that's at least a safe way of doing that. For that you hold the grab button and you hold up on the joystick. Yeah, R1 and hold up on the joystick, that way you can jump farther up. And if it did everything correct, Phalanx just moves almost under the sand. You can jump here. And the next thing you do is run towards the sigil, stop stepping instantly, one full step, and one 90% step. Important, you don't want to do two full steps because that will finish the sigil. 
since you got extra damage on the sex, for an easy one cycle, you just do one full step, one ninety percent step, and it's enough. You don't have to finish with sigil until the last one. So you do that, and then you roll out of the step. Azama is always a bit more. Yeah, he actually does it perfectly here. Basically, you wanna when you start stabbing, look towards that direction. You can start stabbing here or here or here. The important thing is that you look towards that direction because then, right as Wonder is just about to finish up the second stab, you can roll out of it. That's a specialty for classic controls. It doesn't work on modern controls, which makes a world record on modern controls on Phalanx basically impossible to our knowledge right now. So yeah, roll out of the stab, go to the edge, once Wander hits the edge, he starts tumbling, you jump, and this jump, if you did everything correctly, so far is very consistent. It's awesome. It saves quite a bunch of time, and even if you get it in boss rush, just go for that jump, it's very consistent. Switch to hand, go to the next sigil. Azuma does it without... He didn't even stay switched to the hand, he obviously wanna stay switched to the hand, so he lost a bit of time here. Doesn't matter. Maybe he has a reason for it. Maybe it's uh, about the cycles. Yeah, because the important thing, the second part of the strategy involves jumping onto the little flap things. And those have a certain cycle. Probably just ask Azama about this because he's more knowledgeable than me about that. I'm still very inconsistent at that jump. But since they have a certain cycle, you kind of have only certain timings when you can jump onto them without falling down. So yeah, full step, 90% step, roll out of the step, jump, and if you did everything correctly, you can get this glorious boost. This thing is more inconsistent, at least for me. Azama still does it in boss rush, he's amazing at that. If you're unsure about that, just go and jump along Phalanx's body and you'll still get an amazing time. Basically right now the record is like 1 minute and 50 and half a second basically, 0.5 of a second, meaning soon, as the title says, maybe we'll see the sub 1 phalanx soon, that will be amazing. And considering the average time for phalanx, usually it's maybe 130 or whatever, you can get like an easy 110 if you get the strategy to work, so that's just something very cool to consider. Even if you don't get the whole under the sand animation, you're still faster doing the first setup, so it's definitely worth learning. You go to the last sigil, finish it however you like, two jump steps work just fine. And then here you go. As a the god gets a 101.7. Yeah, that'll be it for Phalanx IL tutorial. Can be used in Boss Rush. Good luck with your runs, guys.